Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to do a little fun pack with me for vacation. I am headed to Cancun and then I'm going on a cruise. So I'm packing for two trips in one. So I'm gonna share with you all the items that I'm bringing to wear, my accessories and some other odds and ends that I always include on a beach vacation. As always, everything that I can is linked down below in that description box. And I have a QR code popped up up here with all of my Amazon finds in this video. I am packing for a longer trip. I'm gonna be gone for a total of 12 nights. So I am packing a little bit more than I usually would, but my formula for any beach vacation is packing about two outfits per day. The first kind of outfit I like to bring a beach cover up, a swimsuit, something that you wear during the day. And then the same day, I like to bring something a bit more dressy for the evening time. I'm gonna first pack this long sleeve linen button up. This is a new find from Amazon. It is 100% linen and this is really beautiful because it looks really high end. You could also belt this with rattan belt but I'll just probably leave it open face and this is great because it goes with every swimsuit that I'm bringing because I love the white color. Next up I have this fun little crochet cover up. This one's really cute because the back has an opening so it's a bit different just to add a little bit more interest. This one does run a little bit short. I am 5 foot 10 so on me it's pretty short short, but I still think it's cute as a beach cover-up. Another favorite beach cover-up is this long white one. This one is short sleeve, so unlike the linen one, this one has a different kind of sleeve, and the material is this gauzy cotton material. I have brought this on other vacations before, and it's just very versatile. It goes with any swimsuit, so this one's always a favorite. Then I have this gorgeous beach sarong. I love wearing sarongs with one-piece swimsuits. I think it adds a bit more of like a fun vibe. Now, I know this one for sure is from a brand called Echo New York. They don't make this one anymore, but I'll try to leave something similar down below, but the print is just so pretty, especially with a white swimsuit. Then I have this black style cover up. It's a shorter style with a mid sleeve. I love wearing this over any kind of swimsuit and it, to me it kind of looks dressed up, but you could also wear this around the resort. You could wear it to the breakfast buffet. It's easy to throw on, so I love including easy throw on cover ups. And I have this new one. It's like a kimono style cover up. I love the black and white pattern and I can tell when this gets wet, it'll dry really, really fast. Last but not least for a cover up, I am bringing a long sleeve rash guard. I love packing these, especially when the sun gets a little bit hot. Right now I'm in my winter shade, so I know I'm gonna burn really easily. So I like wearing this, especially when I'm feeling a little bit hot or if you don't have access to a sun umbrella, these will save you and it's so comfortable to wear. So here are the one piece swimsuits that I'm bringing. This first one is a nice hot pink one, one shoulder. This is from Amazon. Then I have my favorite somersault one piece. This is a side show. It's like the best selling one piece swimsuit from this brand. And I love it in the white color. It's so pretty. Then I have this black one piece. I love this neckline. I think it's very sophisticated, very high end. This is from Amazon as well. And then this one is a beautiful green color. And again, this one is from Amazon. So those are my four one pieces. Next up, we have some casual clothes. I always like to bring some kinds of shorts. First up, we have a pair of denim shorts. Then I am bringing these black trouser shorts from Abercrombie. These are so lightweight and go with everything. And then of course, my all-time favorite white high flutter shorts. I've been wearing these for years. Never forget to bring a lot of like casual clothes like t-shirts just so you can wear around the hotel or cruise. In the morning you want to throw something on so I'm going to be bringing this sleeveless tank top shirt. This adorable niche top from Amazon. Looks really cute especially with the black shorts. It kind of looks like a set. And then I'm going to be bringing this sweater just in case it gets cold at night. You can kind of also just wear this around your shoulder like that. It's kind of like a jacket but it doesn't take up too much room in your suitcase. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to be working out but I'm going to be bringing some yoga pants just in case I decide to work out or do a yoga class. I also have my little workout shirt and this sports bra in case I work out. Plus I'm also going to be bringing this crew neck sweater. Really really comfortable and soft as you can see it's super flowy. This is from Amazon as well. It's great to throw on especially in the morning if it happens to be a little bit cooler. 
then for my evening clothes, I like to wear sundresses. I think it looks cute for cocktails and then you could wear it throughout the evening. I know for women, I feel like beach resorts or cruises, like you don't have to dress up so, so much. And the cruise that I'm going on is a virgin cruise. So they don't have a true formal night. The only formal-ish night they have is called Scarlet Night. And the requirements is just to wear red. So the red dress that I'm wearing for that is this one shoulder dress. This is from Abercrombie. It's not like a pure red, but this is my only like dressy kind of red dress. I think this would look really pretty for that night. And then here are just some other dresses that I'm bringing. The first one is actually a set in this pretty floral printed pink fabric. And it comes with a maxi skirt and a crop top. So this is to me not as dressy as my other things, but if I'm going to maybe an early dinner or want to do like sunset cocktail kind of a dress, I'll be wearing this for sure. Then I have this long black maxi dress. I think this looks so sophisticated. It looks high-end designer and this can be dressed up and down. You can wear this dress in the evening time with just some heels or you could wear it as a beach cover-up during the day with some sandals. So I love that. This is so versatile and I love it so much. I actually got it in this kind of nude color when I tried this on. I did not do myself tan yet so I feel like with a tan this would look really cute and I love how flowy it is. It's very comfortable. Probably will be getting this in more colors throughout the year just because it's just a dress that you can throw on and dress up, dress down how you wish. Another beautiful dress is this orange color flutter sleeve dress with a cut out detail. Now this orange color will just pop with any skin tone and I do like the cut out feature of it. I think it has a cool unique style that I think would look really pretty for a Mexican dinner or eating on the cruise. Now you don't have to always wear a long maxi dress to a dinner. I'm also bringing this linen pink dress. This is from Amazon and I like how this is fitted at the bust area. So it kind of gives you an A-line shape, which I'm always here for. And in the opposite style direction, I have this ribbed strapless dress, which is a bodycon. Now for me, I'm not really into the bodycon kind of vibe, but I do love how this looks. And I feel like it isn't too, too tight where I feel uncomfortable, but I think this gives a really fun vibe. I always love wearing black, honestly, even on vacation. I think it just looks dressed up. So I have this black cutout dress. It's in a cotton like material so it honestly feels like I don't know it feels like pajamas it's really really comfortable to wear but it does look dressy so I will be opting for this when I want to wear something simple and black another dressier option that I have is this one shoulder jumpsuit from Abercrombie and I think this is perfect when I don't want to wear a dress it's a jumpsuit it's in a black color it looks dressy and I'll probably be wearing this more than once just because I'm not bringing an outfit for every night I'm definitely gonna have to wear some of these more than once on my my trip. And I have this green polka dot dress. It's more of like a beach cover up or a day dress, but you could wear this in the evening time with the right accessories just to dress it up a little bit. So those are my dinner outfits. For shoes, I'm going to be bringing three pairs of sandals. The first ones are the Birkenstock. These are so comfortable. I have worn these throughout all last summer. They're easy to throw on and they go with everything. And I'm going to be bringing these black sandals. These are like a designer lookalike. These are from Amazon. They're really comfortable and the black color is great because you can also wear these at nighttime. They look a little bit dressier, but you could also wear these to the pool. I'm gonna be bringing these gold slides. They're very easy to throw on and off. They're dressy, so you could wear these for evening and daytime. And then if I I want to dress up a bit more. I am bringing these heels. These are from Amazon. I love the clear straps. These really elongate your legs and they aren't too high, but they definitely give a more dressy vibe. For bags, I'm going to bring this beach bag. This is a corduroy style. I like how the front has pockets so you could put in your sunscreen, your cell phone, your room key, something really easy. And then the big opening has a zipper so you can close up all your valuables. Inside, it's roomy enough and the inside has a nice material so if it gets sand on it you can easily take out the sand when you're done using it and then for evening i'm in between these two bags i'll probably go with this one because it's a more neutral color and i could fit a lot more inside i am vlogging so i'll need to fit my vlog camera in here my phone and my room key so i think this will fit enough and the neutral color will go with everything and i love the cute little hand style of this bag and what the heck i'm going to be bringing this fun metallic bag this is so cute for the cruise it's from amazon as you can see, it sparkles so much and I feel like this would be really cute with any black dress that I'm bringing or if I want to dress up an outfit, this bag will really shine. Obviously, I love sparkles.
Never forget your accessories. So I have this jewelry organizer. I love this thing. I put all of my jewelry that I'm packing in here. I have a lot of Amazon jewelry. I will leave all my favorites down below in one link because there's a lot of things that I'm bringing. But I also love the brand Sequin. They have beautiful evil eye style jewelry, which is perfect for vacation. And then this case also is a no brainer. I love it because you can hook it on wherever you're going and you could see all the jewelry at once. Plus it folds flat. So you don't have to take up too much room in your suitcase for your jewelry. And then this accessory, I'm gonna be bringing this silk scarf. I love wearing these in my hair, especially with my swimsuits. It adds a bit more style to any swimsuit. I'd like to fold it in a triangle and then wear it like this. It's also great because you block the sun. I always get sunburned like in my scalp area. So this helps with that, especially during mid sun, but I'm also gonna be bringing my other hat. This is from Lack of Color. I got it on sale last year and I haven't worn it yet. So I'm super pumped to bring it with me on the trip. You can see through it. So I think the sun will kind of go through it, but I think it just has the most beautiful style. It's giving Mexico. Now I have my goodie bag of other items I always bring with me on cruise vacations and beach vacations. First up is this shower organizer. I have suction cup hooks. I hook it on. This is great for organization just because showers on cruises are really small and there's hardly any space for your own soaps and things. For this you can kind of put your own soaps where you want and see things a bit better, which is great for organization. I will also be bringing my water shoes. I love these water shoes. You'll never know when the beach will be rocky and these just protect your feet, which I love. And they're very lightweight. They don't hardly take up any room in your suitcase. And they're just a good thing to have, especially on cruise excursions. Of course, you need to bring your reusable water bottle. I know for a fact Virgin Voyages has water stations around the cruise ship, so they reduce plastic waste. So I will always be bringing this along with me wherever I go. But I'm actually gonna be bringing another one as well for cocktails or maybe coffee in the morning. Morning. It's a really good thing to have keep your beverages cold or hot. Of course, we need some chair clips because my biggest pet peeve is when towels are flying everywhere. This also kind of helps you keep your chair. If you want to get lunch and don't want to move your chair, these kind of indicate clearly that you are still sitting there. For a cruise, I always bring these metal hooks. Cruise walls have magnetic properties so you can hang stuff on them and these hooks are so helpful for keeping your hats and things organized also hang towels on these you could hang out your outfit for the next day i'm going to be bringing my little mini speaker this is good for like cruise excursion going to the beach you can have your music on lightly and for the room when you're getting ready and stuff it's fun to have like actual good speaker. And then of course I have to bring my little mini fan to keep cool when the sun is hitting you. These are also silicone. So if you hit it, it's not gonna hurt anyone. This is also a portable charger and a flashlight. So this little guy right here is so cool. And I have this portable travel alarm clock, which is perfect for waking up early, especially if you have an early cruise excursion or if you wanna just wake up early on vacation. I know a lot of cruise cabins don't have any alarm clock. And it's also good for just telling the time because Again, I don't know why a lot of cruise cabins and hotels don't have like traditional alarm clocks anymore. Then I have my toiletry bag. I won't go into detail on everything inside unless you would like me to do a separate video on just my toiletries and makeup because I'm telling you it would be a long video. Let me know down below if that would be something that you would like to see because I do have everything kind of packed up. But I will share some things that I am bringing specifically for this trip. I have these reusable bottles from Amazon. I haven't had a problem with them leaking yet but I have these like silicone covers so in case there was a spill or something nothing is going to get on your items. I'm also bringing my fair share of sunscreen. I love the super goop every single face sunscreen. I find that it doesn't clog my pores and it looks great under makeup and then I'm going to be using the Innisfree daily sunscreen for my body. I also have a mini Laneige lip mask. I have my contacts face moisturizer. I also have the blowfish tablets for any hangovers because I am gonna be having my fair share of margaritas on the trip. And I do love this toiletry case. This is from Amazon. It fits all of my essentials for 12 days perfectly in here. It has a nice little hanging hook and it really does fit a lot inside. So I love this for my toiletries. I have my makeup packed separately as well. So let me know if you would like to see a further in-depth guide for my toiletries and how I pack them. And I will be wearing a pair of white sneakers on the plane in case we want to do anything like activity wise. I'll have a pair of white sneakers. Now I'm going to pack everything in my new white Samsonite suitcase. I'm so pumped to use it. I also bought a 
clear cover over it. So hopefully it won't get too beat up when I go through airport security. And there goes all of the items that I'm bringing for our 12 day stay in Mexico and a week long cruise in the Caribbean. I'm also going to be using packing cubes to help me pack everything in my suitcase. Hopefully everything fits. And of course I am bringing my camera gear because yes, I am vlogging Mexico. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. That would be Mexico. With that, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in Mexico. Bye.